everybody, it's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Today I have a 12 by 12 inch canvas. I'm going to just do a simple flip and drag on it. So that I'd go old school and just do something simple. This will be a really good um, tutorial for beginner acrylic pours. As this is one of the more easy pours to do when you're first starting out. So let's go over my paint. My base coat will be the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White. And I did mix that paint only with Floetrol. It's two parts Floetrol to one part of the uh, white. I added a squirt of GAC 800 and about a teaspoon of the Liquitex Gloss Medium. All the rest of my paints are mixed with the mix. And I will show you that. Seven parts mix to one part paint. I did have to thin a few of my paints with water for consistency. So let's go over those paints. My first paint is the Porage Posse Paint, Ellie's Evergreen Shimmer. It's a really pretty green. These are Christina Welsh's uh, line of paints and I will list her name in the description. Again, uh, the Porage Posse Paint, the Barn Red Shimmer, and this is one of her newer paints that just came out and I'm trying it for the first time. My next paint is again her line and it's the Persian Autumn Yellow. My next paint is Amsterdam Greenish Blue. It's one of my favorite colors from Amsterdam. And my last color is I did a combination of Blick Bright Red and Liquitex Basics Cadmium Orange Hue. I just wanted to get it more of the orangey color than the red. So again, these are mixed seven parts, mixed to one part paint. So what I'm gonna do is stop the camera. I'm gonna put down my base coat. I'm gonna fill my two cups, bring you back, and we'll start painting. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I have my base coat of the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White down. I filled both my cups. One of my cups, I started with the darkest on the bottom and went to the lightest. And then the other cup, I did the opposite. Started with lightest and went to darkest. Now, I did not add any silicone to my paints. And I did forget to show you consistency. And let me show you that now. Hopefully, you can see that. Leaves just a little trace and then disappears. Okay, so again, this is just gonna be a flip and drag. So I will lay my paints down. I think I will start with the darkest cup on this side and then we'll go with the lightest cup. And I'm just gonna let those sit there for a little bit, let the paint run down. I hope everybody had a good new year. And if you're like me, I'm looking forward to 2021, all the challenges it'll bring. And I'm trying to set goals for myself. And one of the goals is for my YouTube channel is to show more different styles of the acrylic painting especially for beginners. I know there's a lot of beginners out there. So um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them. If you uh, know of a style of the acrylic painting you'd like to see me do, leave that in the comments and I certainly will try that for you. Um, I welcome any questions or comments. So let's flip this first cup here very pretty. Okay. And we'll flip this second cup. And that also is very pretty. I'll leave a little bit of paint in these cups 
in case I need to help cover my corners later on. Right now I'm going to give it a little torch. Get some of these air bubbles out. And I'm also going to just add a little bit of extra of the white paint in between here. Okay, so let's start tipping and see what we get. Before I do any more tipping, there's one thing that you can do. It's called lipping, and I'm going to lip my cup just through this paint just to give it a little added something to look at and i will do it on this side too it's almost like you've seen some other artists wreck their ring pours well this is like lipping through your flip and drags okay we'll do some more tipping i'll go over that corner and bring it back. In this corner. And bring it back. And I'll bring it down now. Let's try and get off this corner over here. And bring it back. And I'll try and get over this corner now. And bring that back. Okay, let's take a look at it here. Just a simple little painting. Just cleaning off the bottoms here with my fingers. Check my edges and my corners. Make sure that they are covered. And I think I will torch again before I take a look at it and see what else I want to do. I think I'll try my other torch. I think that one's running out. I do have some pretty cute cells here and there. And I think what I'm going to do is just see what I have left in my cup here and run it along this side just to break that up a little bit. And I think I will try and run it also up this white line. Just to break that up a little bit. And I will also see what I have in my other cup here. You can always play with your painting to get some extra dimension to it. A 
okay? And I'm also going to run it up this over here a little bit. Okay, I do like that. I'm going to do a little more tipping here and there. Just to incorporate what I just did add there a little bit. Okay, I'm going to take another look at it. I really am liking that, especially that orange line right there. I'm going to see if I can get a little bit more out of the cup with that. Let's see what comes out here. So I have some green coming out. Okay. And I think what I'm going to do, just to blend that a little better, I'm going to take my skewer and I'm just going to run it through here a little bit. And I really do like that. Okay. Do a little bit more tipping here. Again, just to incorporate, incorporate what I just did add there to make it look a little more natural. Okay. And I think composition wise, I would probably like it to go this way. And I will give it one more torch and then I'll get you down for a close up. I will run the skewer just one more time through here. Maybe one this way just a little bit more. Okay, I even like that better. Okay, let's get you down for a close up. Okay, everybody, here we are for our close-up. Off camera, I did add just one little line up here at the upper left-hand corner and then did a little bit more stretching on it. Again, this is a 12 by 12 inch canvas. I'm very happy with the result. So here's the upper left. Just going down the left-hand side here. And these colors are so very vibrant. Got some cute cells going on there, and that's from the Floetrol from that base coat. And here is the lower left-hand corner. Very, very interesting right there. Okay, let's go up the middle here, and these are a couple of those lines that I added after the fact, and I'm glad I did. Really added a lot to this painting. And that's where I played with this white stripe down the middle here. Couple more cute little cells here. And that's 
the upper middle there. Let's go over to the right hand corner. And here we are, right hand corner, and we'll just go down the right hand side. Again, I really do like using the mix. It leaves parts vibrant, and yet you can see, like in this area, you can see different layers of the paint. I really do like that effect. Here's the lower right hand corner. So let me know what you think of this video and give me a thumbs up if you like it. Share it, make sure you ring the bell, choose all so you know the next time I do post a new video. And until next time, take care everybody. Happy New Year. Bye for now.